Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in today's video, we are going to go back and talk about this MX Vertical Mouse that we did. This was a beginner surfacing video where we went through the process of creating this geometry to understand some basic tools that we have available. Uh, now, today, Nikita did a video talking about the way in which we can add these sort of ridges to the back of the model. And uh, he approached this without the use of X NURBS. Now, when we started this tutorial, I mentioned that that geometry was just too complex to add at a beginner level and i still i stand by that i think that it's just way too involved for someone trying to learn and understand now what i will say is that if you have access to a studio license then using tools like raise degree are going to be infinitely more simple to do this process and i'm going to show that here in just a second so what we need to do is select the face that we're interested in here we need to use raised degree, which is shift and S on the keyboard. Now I'm actually going to do this a couple of times, which is going to continually divide up my geometry. And then I'm going to right click to accept. I'm going to go to my control point selection, and we're only going to do this with just a quick example. But uh, essentially what we're going to do is pull some of this geometry inward. And I'm going to do this over here as well, leaving one point in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and grab these and we're just going to leave that one point, the control point in the middle. And this fades away at the bottom. So we want to leave at least one row that is untouched on both sides. So I'll select these. And if I was doing this in reality, there's a good chance that I would likely do it as a set of lofted curves going from my smooth profile on the bottom and the top. And then there's going to be a curve in the middle that has this geometry. It's either way you do it is going to take a good bit of time. This method is probably the quickest. So now that I've got some points selected, in general, I would consider doing this either as a scale from a pivot point or because we've only got a few selected, what I'm going to do is create a plane from camera. I'm going to use G on the keyboard to move and G again to lock it to my cursor. And then I'm just going to pull this in slightly, left click to confirm the move and right click to accept. Now, if we rotate this around, it's hard to see, but F and then toggle points, we can see that now we're left with that sort of ridge detail on the model. Depending on the number of points that you move around and depending on how much you move them is going to influence how this geometry gets created. Now, in reality, this is not a perfect match or replica to what the actual Logitech MX vertical mouse is. And again, I think that this was probably done as a subdivided model that would make the most amount of sense, but the pattern actually fades away at the top and the bottom. And it also fades away as it gets further toward the front of this model as well. So from about this button here down to the front left corner, that pattern is completely gone. And it's only really in the area where your hand is gripping right in this palm area. So hopefully that helps understand a little bit on how you would go about this with tools like raised degree, Again, there are multiple ways that you can approach a model like this and being efficient at modeling is understanding the options and then also the limitations to those options. If we wanted to do this manually, the amount of time that it would take for each of the probably 75 ridges would just be a monumental challenge. So creating a single curve in the middle during the initial loft that was created here is probably going to be the most efficient way to approach it as a single surface or using tools like raised degree, if we have access to a studio license, that's gonna help you create that geometry quickly and easily. So if you have any questions on this, please let me know. And uh, thanks to Nikita for shouting out the channel and also approaching that area, which uh, I did not include in the original tutorial. So if you have any questions, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.